So now, moving on to part B of this question. We're still working with women's heights that have a mean of 65 inches and a standard deviation of 2.75 inches. So all my numbers along the bottom here are not going to change because my mean and standard deviation have not changed. So just quickly putting my scale on here. So the same one that we already had. This time we're being asked to find the probability that a randomly selected woman is 70 inches or taller. So where does 70 go on my picture? Well, it's between the 67.75 and the 70 and a half. So we're roughly about here. And then the question is, am I gonna shade above it or below it? Well, we gotta read the problem. 70 inches or taller. So where are taller women? They are gonna be to the right of that value. All right, so let's go ahead and think about what kind of Z value we should get. Well, 70 is above the mean, so we're gonna get a positive Z score. More specifically, right, this is one and two standard deviations above the mean. So my Z is gonna be between one and two. So let's do the math and see what Z score we do get. So our Y is 70, the mean is still 65, and the standard deviation is still 2.75. This gives me a Z of positive 1.82, which is between the one and two, just like I thought. Now let's talk about what we're going to need to do here. The next step is to go to our table. Recall again that our table always reads to the left of a value. However, what do we want? We want to the right of the value. So how are we going to do this? This is where our first rule of the relationships between z-scores is gonna be useful. So this is gonna be the shaded right rule. So first we're gonna understand this through some picture math. So whenever I'm shaded right, it does not matter where my value is along the bottom. All that's gonna matter is that I'm shaded to the right. So what I can do to find that probability, and keeping in mind that I have to use the table I have, which always reads to the left, is I can start by taking everything and I can subtract off what I don't want. And what I don't want is what's to the left of that value. So that's the idea of how this shaded right rule is going to work. However, this is also one that should make somewhat intuitive sense. Suppose that you wanted to know the probability that a student passes our class. And I tell you, well, about 15% of students fail the class. Can you then figure out what percent pass? Yeah, you probably already came up with the answer of 85%, right? Because if 15% don't pass, the other 85%, which makes it have to add up to 100% or everything, is how I found that. So what we're going to end up doing mathematically is taking 1 minus whatever value we get from the table. Let's see how that works with our problem here. So we were wanting to find the 70 inches or taller. So what I'm first gonna do is I'm gonna take this number to the table. Again, remember the first, up to the first decimal point tells me the row that we're going to. 
in that second decimal point will tell me the column we're going to. So we're looking for a positive 1.82. So here's our 1.8 row. The O2 column, and those line up at 0.9656. However, this number I just found gave me what's to the left of that value. So on my picture, that's what's below 70 inches. So if I actually want to find the probo that you're greater than 70 inches, I'm just going to take 1 minus this 0.9656 to get my answer. And the reason I'm doing this 1 minus idea is because I'm shaded right. So this is going to give us a probability of 0 0.0344. Now let's see how we could have seen that I needed to do the 1 minus rule here just from looking at the picture. Right, by looking at my shaded area, I would know if I had everything to the right of 65 shaded, that would be half or 50%. So I can definitely tell that I have less than half this picture shaded. So if I would have got this 96.56% as an answer, hopefully I would have stopped and realized that that doesn't seem right. That does not match how much shaded area I have in my picture. So it's a little way from me, okay, ooh, did I need to do the one minus rule on this one? Because that doesn't make sense from my picture. All right, so finally let's interpret that one. So I can then say the probability that a randomly selected woman is 70 inches or taller is either 0 0.0344 or changing that to a percentage would be 3.44%, which means just a little bit more than 3% of women are taller than 70 inches, which is 5 foot 10. So that also probably seems pretty reasonable that there's not a lot of women taller than 5'10". All right, so a quick recap of when pictures are shaded right. So after I get my picture, I can tell that I'm going to use this one minus rule simply because I shade to the right of my value. Again, it doesn't matter where this number falls along the bottom. Whenever I'm shaded right is when we're going to use that rule. So I calculate my z-score. I take that value to the table. Then I do the one minus. So always table first before we do the rule attached to it here. We're going to cover one more rule in the next video.